This particular set of tools is something I have chosen to review because I think a lot of us that do automotive use some of these similar connectors and this might be useful to a lot of you. These are also sold on their website in a few different varieties and packages. This just happens to be the kit DC1 that has three of the Deutsch connectors and Weatherpack Metropack open barrel crimpers. Now these are very ubiquitous in the automotive world and that is something I use a ton of is open barrel crimpers. So I want to show those off as well. And I'm actually going to show a little example here in a second. Um, they've got a nice little instruction booklet, which is nice because for those that are somewhat unfamiliar, you can just immediately jump in and you know what tool does what, and you get some basic instructions of how to assemble the connectors. So it's pretty nice. Not all this stuff is uh, made equal. I've bought many other tools that don't have clear instructions at all on how to use them or what to do. Um, the other thing that this comes with that's really nice is you don't only get the crimpers, but you get some of the tools uh, to release the pins as well. One of them that is very notable that I use a lot of is the DT uh, release tool. So if you've ever done Deutsch connectors, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, this is how you release the clips to get the contacts out of the uh, cavities. So that's really nice. These are like knurled milled aluminum. That feels really nice, like really sturdy. Can't even bend it. Nice steel on both sides with the aluminum in the middle. It's looking good. And then this is one that I use all the time. So this is the uh, weather pack release tool. So when you have a weather pack uh, terminal like this, this little guy is hollow and it goes over the top to release those two little uh, tabs right here to pull this out of its socket. And this thing is sweet. I have a really cheap crappy plastic one from the past and this is once again anodized knurled aluminum feels really good definitely going to use that quite a bit also for the bmw guys this tool will actually release the uh, factory pins that go into your fuse box from the um, terminals on bmw e28s and e30s so i think i have a video on that but i'll I'll show that another time. Um, these are the DT crimpers. I use these quite a bit on the channel. Uh, this is from size 12, 16, and 20. So these are the smallest, medium, and then these are the largest. So if you've ever done uh, DTP connectors, these are the power ones. Uh, there's a, these are extremely handy because the power ones, when they're in the open barrel configuration, are kind of a pain to deal with in my opinion. So having the uh, closed contact is really nice to have for the barrels. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these are a really good construction. Yeah. I'm trying to get you guys a good view on that, but they have a nice tight lock. They come pre-adjusted. This is all locked in. Uh, we can give them a try show you what they're all about. Um, what I wanted to show, preview today, and I have a lot of stuff coming up with, as uh, you have seen, I am working on a, another breakout board for the 2UZ, and I'm going to have to do over 80 open barrel connections. So this is what I'm looking forward to the most. And what I've found... What I like about this the most is that this has a spring. Uh, I have some other ones that are of lesser quality and they don't spring back. So I'm constantly putting my finger in there to, to open them back up um, when I'm trying to work with them. These have a nice crisp jaw. Looks like really nice sharp stamping and uh, looking at them straight on. Really nice and 
really nice and straight. There's no, like the machining on both sides is pretty even. So these are, they feel right immediately, feel great. They've got some grip. That's nice. Cool. Well, the uh, last one I want to show you is this. This is really cool because it actually has the, uh, it actually has the seal crimp. So when you get these uh, weather pack connectors, um, you can crimp down the actual, you can crimp down the actual wire, and then that big open barrel right here is actually for the seal. So you can set those guys in there and crunch them down. So that's really nice to have one that makes the seal. Because otherwise, I've just used like a standard open barrel with like the biggest size and tried to crimp them down. You know, you just stuff it in there and it always is like lopsided to one side or not. Um, it's part of having the right tools what's make it awesome. So if you're looking for them, they have that. So if you do a lot of those uh, weather pack, metro pack connectors, you can take a look at those. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do a little example. I'm gonna grab these little guys and we're gonna crimp up a wide band extension uh, with this amp seal connector, with some open barrel terminals. So let me uh, get the camera flipped around and we'll go for it. All right, let's do a practical example here. We've got the open barrel crimper. This is one of the most commonly used crimpers in automotive wiring, in my opinion, especially with OEM stuff, you're always gonna be finding something from amp seal to like weather pack uh, to injector connectors, all kinds of stuff. There are always gonna be something you can use to crimp with these in the automotive realm. And uh, we've got some wires prepared here with the seal and we've got the terminal here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this on here. What I like to do with these is I like to squeeze the two, uh, the two little pieces that go around the seal just to kind of hold it in place until everything is ready. The next thing we're gonna do is select the 18 to 20 gauge die right here and uh, go ahead and just lock it in right behind the wire. Make sure everything's lined up. It looks good if we can get this lined up just like that and go ahead and squeeze. Give it a nice crimp down, pull it out of the die. All right, I did a really nice crimp. All right, and now we can do the seal. Um, I'm actually just curious, let's pull out the metro pack seals. This is actually not exactly the seal for this, but I just wanna try it because it looks so good. Like I think this is gonna work well. Um, so we'll just get it lined up here, crimp it around just like that. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. That's awesome. This is exactly why you need to get the right tool for the job. And buying this pack, you get both of them. You get exactly what you need. So you can do the seals and uh, the actual crimp connection. So yeah, these, oh, let's see if we can get it there. Seem to do quite an awesome job. And I don't know if you can tell real quick, but uh, where the seal is, it's actually a round crimp. It has taken both of those pieces and like smoothed them out into a circle. Most of the time on previous uh, jobs that I've done without something that has that seal crimp, I've just ended up using like the largest one of uh, the dies and just kind of fold it over. And it always seems to smash out, uh, smash out this uh, seal a little bit, but yeah. That looks like exactly what we'd want to do. And then we're just going to repeat that a few times, but so far liking these quite a bit. Yeah, they've got a little lock too, so you can keep them closed. And once again, I think one of my favorite things is that they have a spring. And uh, if you get the right one, you can get that seal for the uh, weather packs. 